What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be upgrading the ambient lighting on this BMW F30. Uh, we're going to be doing that using these simple plastic pieces here. Now you guys might be familiar with these things because uh, they are pretty popular. Also, I've actually done a video about this on my 435. So if you guys watch the channel, you'll have already seen it. But when I actually took the car to a shop, I think I went to go get like a wheel lime or something like that. Uh, one of the guys knocked them out of the car and I never put them back in. That one is a little funnier because uh, they only basically sell these things for the F30. So I had to cut them up and make them fit the larger two doors of the 435. Whereas these ones here are actually made specifically for the F30. So they're made specifically for this car. So this should be easier and fit a lot better. So I'm basically hoping that this is a lot easier to do and has uh, some better results. So the ones that I have actually got from a friend, mad cool dude. But if you guys do want a set, I will leave a link down to Amazon where you guys can get them. They are pretty cheap. I think they're only about like 40 to 60 bucks or something like that. And they do definitely make a pretty good difference in the car. But anyways, with that said, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna try to keep this video Video relatively quick and short uh, this should be a pretty easy process so when you guys get these pieces if you do get them they're gonna come in four separate pieces two of them are gonna be longer than the other two so you're basically gonna have two like this length here and then to the slightly longer one. So the ones that are longer go to the front doors, whereas the ones that are shorter, of course, are going to go to the rear doors. So if you guys know already, of course, these cars do have some ambient lighting that goes uh, throughout, basically underneath over here. It does look good, but it is very subtle. So what these plastic pieces are basically going to do is kind of capture the light of the ambient lighting and sort of like enhance it. So uh, it's really just gonna kind of help like reflect the light of the ambient lighting and just make it look brighter. Pretty simple, honestly. Obviously, there's no like really technical things going on here we're just kind of stuffing these plastic pieces into the ambient lighting which I'll show you guys in a second but yeah so to do this you really don't need any tools you just need these plastic pieces um, I'm obviously doing it at night so I can better show you guys like the before and after but yeah otherwise guys I think we can just really get into it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in uh, just one side on maybe the passenger side uh, the front and then uh, the rear as well. And I'll leave the driver's side over here, just OEM. So that way I can turn on the car and then you guys can see basically uh, the before on the driver's side and then the after on the passenger side here. All right, so like I was saying guys, uh, four pieces all together, uh, two shorter than the other two like that. So uh, like I said before, this is gonna go to the front over here. So uh, to install this guys, all you literally need to do is just stuff this underneath the ambient lighting over here it's kind of hard to see now ignoring my shaking hands because it is freezing but if you guys can see once you're doing this if i can get it to focus in there that's struggling to focus but if you guys can tell there is a longer skinnier side and then there is a flatter wider side the longer skinnier side is going to be the side that's going in against the door so basically the shorter flatter side is going to be closer to you but yeah this should be pretty easy since it's an exact fit so i'm gonna put you guys on a tripod So as you guys saw, it was as simple as that. Literally just pushing this thing into the ambient lighting over here. Literally no tools required. I will say though, uh, just make sure that once you're doing this, make sure that the edge that you start on is all the way in because this thing is a very tight fit. So I don't know if you guys were able to see on that last clip, but I basically put it in and I realized it wasn't going in on this side because it was kind of overlapping. I basically didn't push it in all the way on that side first. But yeah, so that was the front door. Let me show you guys the rear door really quickly. Uh, again, pretty much same thing. So with that said, let's turn on the car and I can show you guys sort of like the before and after. Again, the passenger side being the after and the driver's side being the before. All right, so the car is on. I'm actually sitting in the back seat so I can get a better look at the, the front side so I can kind of show you guys the before and after. But uh, let me show you guys. So uh, this, of course, is driver's side. That is the before. I do not have the plastic piece in it right now. And then this over here is the passenger side, which as you guys saw, I put the plastic piece in. So now I don't know how much you can actually tell on camera, but in person, there's definitely a difference. And I'll say the main difference is not just only brightness, is also, if you guys can tell, this one now looks like there's an actual light beam. Whereas over here, it just kind of looks like a light is kind of shining down. Like this definitely does not look bad. It is nice ambient lighting and it's nice that a car from 2017 has it. But this definitely makes it look better. Uh, it looks, makes it look a little more pronounced and 
more defined if that makes sense it kind of reminds me of the g generation ambient lighting where they have like a light beam kind of going across and then they have the other light that kind of just goes underneath it if you guys are familiar with the g chassis bmws you'll know what i'm talking about but overall this definitely looks a lot better it just makes the ambient lighting look a little more defined which is really nice so that's the front as you guys can see let me show you the rear side so this of course is the side that i put it on and then this side over here is where I don't have it on. So again, same thing, this kind of looks like a light shining down, whereas this one over here looks like a light beam. Again, like I was saying before for the front, it looks a little more defined. So pretty good difference, guys. Again, for a simple plastic piece that's relatively cheap, uh, it does make a difference for sure. Now, am I saying that this is gonna make your F-generation BMW look like it has G-generation ambient lighting? Definitely not, but it does make it look better. Again, a friend of mine gave this to me, so I know I already made a video about this on the 435, but I kind of figured since I have it, I'll make it again. Maybe people with the F30 will find this video and find it helpful, but anyways, uh, definitely great upgrade. What I'm gonna do now is actually put it on the other side, and I'll just show you guys the finished product all together. But before I do, I just wanna say really quickly, if you guys are enjoying this video, if you're finding it helpful, entertaining, whatever it is, please drop this video a like, Drop me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about the improved ambient lighting, if you actually think it makes a difference. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. It'll really help me out, guys. But anyways, with that said, let me install the rest of these things, and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so I'll go ahead and throw up that a few moments later clip. But yeah, guys, I, I managed to get in the rest of the ambient lighting upgrades, as you guys can tell. So again, this is the driver's side, uh, the front door, uh, passenger side. Now they look similar. And then, of course, the driver's side rear door as well. And then just for comparison, here is the passenger side. Something I did realize after I installed this is I forgot to show you guys the other colors. So if you're familiar with these cars, you'll know it comes with orange as well as white. I forget about the white because honestly, I always leave it in orange. The white just always looks out of place because everything else is orange. So I completely forgot about it. But what I will do is actually just switch it right now to white so you guys can at least see what the improved ambient lighting looks like when it's in white. So let me just do that really quickly. And here it is, the white ambient lighting. So like I was saying before, guys, I think the white always looks funny. I mean, it looks good with this improved ambient lighting. Like it definitely looks brighter, which is really nice. So even just looking at this over here, all the buttons, all the gauges, everything's in orange. And then you just have this white ambient lighting, which I mean, hey, if that's your thing, I'm not going to knock you, but but I personally like to have it in orange just so everything is consistent and it all matches. But still, though, it looks really good with the improved ambient lighting. It's funny because now the center console thing over here, uh, this little thing over here actually looks dim in comparison to the other ones. Hopefully the camera's picking it up well, guys, but honestly, in person, this thing looks really, really good. So again, this looks great. Such a simple mod, but I think it makes a big difference, especially if you guys are like me and you guys like the experience of an interior feeling a little more fancy and refined especially in a car like a bmw so if you guys do want these i will leave a link down in the description below but with that said that pretty much wraps up the video so like i said before guys if you can please drop this video a like a comment and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already it'll really help me out i'm trying to grow this channel so doing that will basically tell youtube to kind of spread this video to more people does helping me grow and help me out make more videos for you guys and build these cars and all that type of stuff but with that said this video is done and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace